This is Christina Höpfner from Catalyst. I'm the lead for the Mahara ePortfolio project and would like to introduce some of the new features of Mahara 21.10 that we released in October 2021. Our thanks go to everyone who contributed to this release by developing new features, fixing bugs, sponsoring new features and bug fixes, translating the software and the manual into different languages, testing and supporting our community online. Many people were involved in making sure everything runs smoothly behind the curtain. This release is focused on the implementation of LTI Advantage in its first experimental stage. Several other smaller new features made it into the release. In contrast to our release of Mahara 21.4 in April though, they are not new portfolio features, but help us in regards to accessibility, usability and general maintenance of Mahara. LTI Advantage LTI Advantage has currently been fully tested with a Brightspace learning management system. Testing with Moodle has started and will require some more investigation. This first implementation of this major feature allows you to authenticate from Brightspace into Mahara, similar to the existing LTI 1.1 implementation. In addition, an educator can set up a link that automatically creates a group in Mahara and also takes the enrollment information from the LMS course along, adding students as group members and an educator as a group administrator. The group membership is automatically kept up to date with enrollment changes in the course in the LMS. With LTI 1.1, it is not so comfortable to use the grading options in the LMS as the grade is entered in Mahara directly and sent to the LMS. With the deep link possibility, an educator can create a regular assignment in Brightspace and allow students to link to their portfolios within the text submission. Regular grading methods from the LMS can then be used for the evaluation of the portfolio and be saved in the LMS. LTI 1.1 will still be supported and thus especially those using the Mahara Assignment Submission plugin in Moodle and Totara already have a comfortable way to use the standard LMS grading options for portfolio submissions. Set up a smart evidence collection in a group. If an institution allows smart evidence, you can now add a framework to a collection in a group that can then be copied into personal accounts. Smart evidence itself cannot be used in a group as it is a feature for personal competency achievement. Through the setup in groups though, the creation of full templates is facilitated. Contact us emails go to institution administrators. When your site has multiple institutions, the site administrator received all contact us emails and would need to forward them to the respective institution administrators. In Mahara 21.10, institution administrators receive them straight away when an institution member who is logged in sends a message. Messages from people not logged in still go to the site administrator for actioning. Differentiate private and public comments in exports. You have the choice to export all comments or only public comments for portfolios, making it easier to keep private comments private for portfolios that you may want to share more widely, yet still have a full copy of the comments available for your own archive. Quick access to some developer functionalities. If you want to create BHEAD tests to automatically test certain workflows, you see all available steps directly in the site administration. You can also check out all third-party libraries that are installed with Mahara instead of needing to look up their version details in the codebase. And last but not least, the style guide, which has been part of Mahara for a long time, now also has a link. It's a good place to refer to sample implementations of components in Mahara to keep them consistent. As usual, a number of bugs have been fixed and we paid particular attention to fixing accessibility issues to support our compliance with WCAG 2.1. This version of Mahara will be supported until April 2023 
and you can go to mahara.org slash download to get the latest code and find any subsequent minor point updates. Let us know what you think in the forums at mahara.org slash forums.